Bye. I'm about to make Judy and I some juice. Got some beets, organic beets. Can you believe in those? Only a dollar ninety-nine for those three, and they're huge. Spinach, kale, lemon, apples, bam, carrots. The best, Judy. I'm trying to recreate this thing called the tutti frutti. I forgot what was in it, but Judy's like, I want the tutti frutti. So I'm gonna try to recreate it, honey. So let's see how it turns out. Okay. This is a little trick you can do if you don't have a juicer because it can be expensive. Put all your stuff into a blender. Um, and the trick is, because you can't blend things like apples, carrots, and beets very well, um, you're going to have to put less of it in there. And then you're going to have to add things like water. Okay? Um, and even here, I've got the spinach and kale in here that I'm going to be blending. But even those things, most blenders can't take this much, so you're going to have to put a lot less. This is going to be enough for like three or four people. So when you do it with a regular blender, you know those ones that are like 20 bucks, you're just going to have to make enough for one person and just keep doing it. And you're going to have to test out the water and stuff, okay, the water ratios. That's the thing, like here, I've already got most of it juiced, so it blends pretty well, but when you're trying to not use a juicer and use a blender you're gonna have to put less fruits and vegetables and add water in there to get it into a juice but let's see how this thing does this is by the way no advertising for blend tech but it is pretty awesome look at this thing just press one button and it just goes pretty tight I love that red color Look at that. Woo! Look at that juice. I'm gonna put it into the cup. Let's see. Look at that juice. It's all to pulp. Let me pour it into the cup. This is Judy's cup. This is one of the reasons why I love juicing because you get so many nutrients that you would never have. Like, Judy and I don't ever eat kale. And we're able to eat things like kale, get the nutrients from kale from juicing. And then also, uh, not just kale, but like uh, beets. You know, I don't really eat beets. I don't even know how to cook them. But when I juice them, it's delicious. And it gives it a beautiful red color. Anyways. And another reason why um, I juice a lot is because... If you're somebody concerned with beauty, vegetables and fruits have a lot of nutrients that will help your skin and hair. And even nails for you, Julie G. But um, when Judy first started dating me, she didn't eat a lot of vegetables. And now she eats a lot of vegetables. And she says after she started dating me, well, obviously we're married now, but a long time ago, her nails... Her fingernails, her hair, and her skin were a lot more healthy, and she didn't realize the importance of eating vegetables until she started dating me. So that's a little trick. You don't need all those expensive serums and creams or whatever, face washes. Just eat more vegetables and fruit. Good afternoon. It is 3.46 p.m., and I was really bummed out because I've been spending time with my family this morning and it turned out I left my SD card in my laptop from when I edited last night. So I had no footage from this morning. But um, yeah, my family left and I just got home and um, Benji and I are going to look at another house today. Because now that, you know, um, you know, family's gone, we're going to be back in a regular schedule, we'll be able to look for houses, and hopefully we find one. I was just digging through my purse because I had some envelopes that I needed to take out, and um, I found this letter, and I'm like, oh, is this to Judy? For some reason, I thought it was from my cousin. Uh, but I opened it up, and it's a letter from Benji. Like, every now and then, he'll write me... Um, a letter out of nowhere like he wrote this today I don't know when he put it in my purse maybe last night because I slept earlier than he did or maybe when I was getting ready to leave this morning um, but it's so sweet and you know he's been doing that for years like maybe 
three times a year he'll just re leave a random letter or a note. And guys, if you're watching, like, girls will drool over things like that. So, <laughs> even though it's just a letter, whatever. Um, I thought that was such a sweetie bear of him. House hunting continues. You sound like Jenna Models. That's what I'm trying to sound like. Cause I was watching a video that I watch every Wednesday. <laughs> um, so house hunting. We'll see how this goes. God, all of our guns are out. Yes. And I'm gonna be aggressive. Guns. I'm gonna be friggin' aggressive. If I'm finding something that I want, then I'm gonna put my foot down. I'm gonna be like, you know what? I'm gonna buy this house and no one's gonna stop me. I think that's the way to go when you're house hunting. Okay, here's potential home. Hi, I love how bright it is inside. That's again the first thing I look for. Look, there's even a skylight right here at the entrance. So Benji's getting his um, real estate agent cards. Kitchen. Look, it's open. Honey, it's an open kitchen. Right into the living room. I like it. Oh, it's kind of small, huh? But it's a nice kitchen. I think, what do you think, honey, about this? Well, that, uh, this is, I like this. Yeah. But I don't, I just, it's I wish small? that area was part of this area. Yeah. Like there wasn't separation. Yeah. Look, we get a free mirror if we get this, too. I like this so far. Like, I like Me this. too, baby. I really do. Oh, my God. The backyard is beautiful. Oh, yeah, the backyard is cool. That's one of the oh. cool. The whole bathroom downstairs is yeah. tiny, but there's a shower in there. Oh, it's because it's, um, there's a, that's technically Oh, because the bedroom, yeah. Has a closet. Okay, let's check out upstairs. Oh, that's a nice bathroom. See, like, this is so awkward. This is what I'm talking about. Like, if a nice, this huge ass room for this oh, tiny little bedroom. Yeah, See, this, a, this, oh, yeah, this is, oh, yeah, I agree. No closet, that'd be perfect. I agree, this is kind of weird. Like, I don't like that. See, those are the things that someone just did think. Like, all this space right here, it's like, but I love this window. Like that would no, be perfect. You could put a computer Tell here. Me, honey, that wouldn't be perfect I know. for your makeup room right there. That would be. It'd just be kind of short. There's a lot of bedrooms. Yeah, a lot of bedrooms. This is a master. It's kind of a. I don't really like how dark it is in here. Oh, what? I like that. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I really like this house. Um, I don't know. Yeah, there is. I agree with Benji when some of the stuff just doesn't really make sense. I don't like how dim it is in the master bedroom. It would be a lot more light in the morning. Yeah. I remember the sun over here. Look how light that room is. I do like how bright it is during the day for the whole house, though. Benji Bear just did. He already made a mess. <laughs> Trying to turn on the faucet. Turn it on, actually. What are your thoughts, honey? You seem very skeptical about this house. Well, this is the thing. You just said in your video earlier that you're going to be aggressive. You're going to get what you want. Yeah. And there's a house out there that you want more than this house. Yeah, that sold. Oh, by the way, that house that house was sold. The one they, that needs a lot of work. Well, this, no. It didn't sell. It's pending. It could go back on the market. Even then, it has a lot of work to be done. This one is moving ready. My number one thing about this house is I just don't like the location. Oh. Okay then, let's keep looking. If we're both not agreeing to it, then this is not the house that's right for us. Yeah. Obviously. Let's go. I don't want to look at it anymore. 
Club face, I told that you didn't let me finish. I do like I don't want to look at it. Huh? Baby, see, why are you getting pissed, honey? I'm not. I get pissed no. when you, you didn't like my. So, yeah. As you can tell, we're very indifferent about the house. Um, I really like it. I, I don't know, it just seemed perfect walking in there and having there be lots of light. Um, I think the bottom bedroom was kind of random, like, I don't know, maybe it's because I felt like it was too dim in there. But other than that, I thought the, the house was really beautiful. <laughs> um, so Benji's gonna check it out again tomorrow and I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed, see, you know, if it's a potential home for us, but anyway, I'm at home watching uh, the history of the Titanic on PBS. So I'm surprised I didn't even see it on the theaters. Uh, but yeah, today was just a chill day after I brought my cousin and my uh, family to the airport. I edited a video, which I will have up here real soon. Maybe by tomorrow it's going to be our engage or, um, uh, our photos from our wedding. So we're going to be sharing our photo album on It's Judy time. More Titanic stuff! It must be because of the... How long has it been? A hundred years? Maybe since Titanic is on 3D, they put this Titanic special. I don't know why Benji Bear does this. He pulls out his iPad and starts watching videos while he's watching a show. Why Why do you do that, honey bear? Oh, just I'll, every night I check Facebook once. That's what I was doing. Did you vlog at all today, baby? Okay, well, good night.